Hi, it's David here from Wargaming Old Guys, and as part of the Iron Skull network of creators, we've been asked to look at the uh, Gloom Trench 1926 trench system, which is which is designed by Fickle Dice Gaming. This is going to go live on Kickstarter mid July. So go over, check them out. The website Fickle Dice Gaming is in the link below. I've already done a blog entry on 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 the review of uh, the printing these so then links in the description below for that as well so go and check that out as well and as you can see from the pictures they are really good the the pictures above are from the ones i've already printed and painted but i was asked to go through and show how i painted them like that because they're nice and grim dark uh, and that's what they see the uh, the application for of these but let's go ahead and uh, start Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole process of printing them out because uh, I've, I've, I've already done a, a blog on that, so go and check that out. But um, this is what it looks like on the on the cheaty box. That's what I I'm using the pre-supported parts on this because they work perfectly. These are really, really really easy to print out, and they're um, really nice, really easy to paint as well. Let's print these out, and we'll get started. Okay, so we've got the bits off the printer, and that's what they look like. Yeah. Didn't take long to, to do it. Look all right. And, uh, yes. Okay. That's what they look like. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to paint. Which one are we going to paint? We're going to paint this one. Look like this one. Doesn't take too long. It's not that complicated and it uses some very simple paints and painting techniques. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll speed up the video and we'll go ahead and paint it. Okay, here they are. These are the two, the two trench pieces, undercoated black, and standard black, nothing too strenuous about them. Um, now, okay, so what we want to do, we have to have a nice brown background, a uh, brown, brown underlay of it all. So if you've got a brown spray, that's brilliant. I've actually run out of brown spray. So, and I have, but have been out of it for a while. So with terrain, I've got no problem using craft paints. So I use a watered down burnt umber. So I use, I know it's some people are like, ah, you shouldn't use craft paints on models and things like that, but I do for terrain. I don't for normal models, but I do for terrain. So I'll do a watered down base coat of burnt umber. And then on the um, the actual sandbags, once that's dry, I'll do another coat uh, of burnt sienna. Um, and then once that's dry, that's when I go into the proper model paints and start using model paints. So I'll show you the paints as I go along. So um, I'll speed the video up to make this go quicker because obviously we're gonna have to let the paints dry and everything. Okay, so that is that. So they've got to let those dry. So now while they're drying, I'd like to just go over the other paints we'll be using. Now the sandbags will be a parasite brown. The majority of my color, uh, colors are Vallejo. So we've got uh, parasite brown. There's some sand leaking out the sandbags. So the, the um, first, layer it will be something like an oaky yellow 
um, before the wash. And then the highlight will be uh, like a desert yellow, Vallejo. Uh, the, the mud at the top will have a, a beastie brown. Oh, can't really see that, it's used that quite a lot. So that's a beastie brown. Um, and the wood, the slats where the actual men walk across will have um, a, that's the wrong brown. Hold on, I'm just gonna get the right brown. We'll have, here we are, this is the one. It's called, it's a German med camo medium brown with a wood. Uh, then that will have a, like a highlight of a, a canvas, a load of canvas, a dry brush off, sorry, not a highlight, a dry brush. Yep. And the, the metal sheeting will have a gun metal. Now, the majority of it will be washed with a black wash. Um, I've got some leftover null oil. Um, I don't like null oil in the majority of my models, so I had this left over, so I'm using this. And I find it, it makes a nice, make it a not dark, dingy feel to it, because I apply way too much. So um, that works quite well, so I, I, I use that one. And then for the metal, I find like a strong tone. Gives a nice, it's got a slight brown tinge to it, so it makes it look a bit rusty. So that's, they're the paint selection, so we'll let them dry and uh, we'll come back once they're dry. What we've got here, that's all dry now. So what we're gonna do, now we're not gonna use the uh, burnt umber for a bit. So we're now we're gonna use the burnt sienna. So we're gonna water this down slightly and just go over, just go over the, the uh, sandbags. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we can let that dry for a bit now. So now we're gonna do the wood at the back. Now the wood at the back is done by this German camo medium brown. Yep. Okay, so that's all the wood done. So we've got to leave that to dry now. Leave that to dry, I'll get on with the other one. And once, that, once they're dry, we'll come back and we'll do the metal and the sand colors and redo the, the mud at the top. Then we'll do a wash, but we'll let that dry first. Okay, so now they're dry, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some gun metal and paint these metal plates gun metal. Yep, so that's got quite a lot of that. Okay, so 
that is the metal bit done. There's a bit of, well, a bit of splash of metal on there. So what we'll do, I'll go back and touch them up once the silk is dry. Now, the next color would be the yellow that goes in the split sandbags. So we're gonna get some yellow ochre. Get some yellow ochre and do that. Then once we've done that, that's all the base colors done and we can start looking at black washing. Okay, so done the yellow, and then once that's all dry, we'll get back to, um, to the, the washes, and then we'll let that dry. What we're gonna do now, now we've got the base colors, we're going to put a layer, a uh, coating of shade, uh, the non oil on everything bar the metal. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll get back to it soon. As it's dry, we can continue. Okay, so now look, we've got these and they're been, look, the black wash has been applied and apart from the metal. And as you can see, it's quite dark, but that's how I want it. And the metal hasn't been affected. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go over and do the sandbags in a parasite brown. Yep. And um, from then we're gonna do the, the soil there in the beastie brown and then we're going to dry brush the wood in uh what's it called L loner canvas so anyway so let's go ahead and start with the parasite brown we want to get quite a lot of color on this we don't want to get it too strong a color but we still want to get those dark recesses Beastie Brown, so Beastie Brown, yep, Beastie Brown, on the mud. So we're going to, now if you want to, you could go over again with a slightly lighter brown on the mud to try and distinguish it a bit more, but I'm not fussed about that. So, we'll let that dry. The next bit is to that dry, but we're gonna dry brush the wooden bits now with some canvas. Now you don't need much of this. So the next point on it 
is to do the do the sand go over with some desert yellow then it's just a strong tone on the the metal and then that is just done Okay, so the last thing we need to do on these is to put a strong tone on the metal. Okay, so we're going to add strong tone to the metal. Don't need very much of this. Now, I know a lot of people say you've got to add a medium to this and things like that. I don't necessarily add a medium to it because I like the effect it gets to if you don't have a medium. That's that. Then we'll leave that to, uh, to dry and then they are finished. One, a couple of coats of varnish and they are finished. Okay, so okay, so these are the finished articles. Now they're really easy to paint. Um, there's not a huge amount of detail on that. I think they've hit the right mark where it comes to detail on it. You, I've done a really, really, really basic paint scheme on this. You can go an extra layer of highlights. I've just done a base layer and a dry brush. But you, like I say, you can go for a highlight to make things pop a bit more but I was looking for the really dark, dingy effect on it. So I, st I stuck at the, uh, the dry brush and I used washes quite heavily um, on the browns and the strong tone on the metal with the slight brownish tinge. You could go a bit further with, with the tarnishing of the metal. You could you can do a, when you've, after you've done your brown base, you, might not, you don't necessarily have to go completely over with the metal, the gun metal like I did. You could just do the raised areas of the metal uh, and then do a, a wash over the top of that to get to, to, to show a bit more tarnish and rust. And there are other ways of getting rust effects. This is the final product. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, I hope you liked the video. It's my first painting video. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe and ding the bell for all my future notifications for all my videos. Keep an eye out for Fickle Dice Gaming Trench System on Kickstarter. <laughs>